but we are going to be seeing Ryu. Yep. Ryu, the world warrior. I mean, you can definitely definitely call him a world warrior now because of the amount of crossovers that Ryu has been a part of since, like, Smash 4. It's, like, Ryu is, like, everywhere, man. Yeah, I think Ryu and Terry have both seen a lot of crossovers in the past few years. Absolutely. It is insane. Okay. But that is Sitting not back with that these... Yeah, he's, yeah, he, he's... Yeah, Sinister is very comfortable to sit back throughout these Hadoukens try to catch a, uh, try to catch, like, a grounded approach. Uh, yeah, and also, um, something to note about Focus is not going to be the most important tool in Ryu's arsenal for this matchup just because of the amount of multi hits that Bayo has, uh, can break through Focus just basically without even thinking about it. Yeah, it's mostly just going to be a movement option for Sinister here, uh, just like that Tatsu right there. It's, that's probably going to be his main kill move. Uh, if he's able to get these down tilts off of Biscato, but Biscato has been playing a very aerial game, so if anything, probably like up air one Shoryu. But, yeah. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yes, right yes, there. Yes, Looking right for there. it. Yep. Yeah, that, Biscato, that is definitely going to kill. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, the reversal, yep. the reversal. Yeah, no toss there. That's gonna take the kill, and you know, Sinister still having jump is able to get back to the ledge pretty risk free there. Uh, so you know, your Sinister is feeling good about that. Uh, the great reversal. Ooh, okay. The punish there with the miss on the grab. The forward throw not quite killing just yet, but it will start doing that eventually. Oh, good shield on the Shobunatsu had open. Yep. Yep, Ryu definitely heavier than most, so this might be a little bit rough for Biscato. Uh, was he was he able to shield going into that shotgun? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, I mean, look, I feel like I'm more watching Ryu from Street Fighter instead of like a Smash Brothers Ryu. Like, this is definitely very more like call collected like you know playing footsies throwing out projectiles like spacing like i feel like i'm actually watching like a street fighter game well that well i think i feel like that's how i feel like that's how uh ryu just in this game plays as opposed to how he does in smash 4 where he just literally can come that is fair yeah but yeah we are gonna see this guy to take that first stock off of sinister uh but yeah there's a big percent uh deficit here that Moscato has to make up and Sinister is just playing that patient game so well, not really giving Biscato the chance to land much of any combos. Yeah, meanwhile Biscato is also playing way more carefully around Sinister right now. I'm seeing that he's just trying to space around his shield, trying not to commit to too much because if you overcommit on Ryu, he's going to take it for a <laughs> That collarbone breaker almost took that shield out in just one hit, which is insane. But the... <laughs> that's yep, that's a kill move. Ryu's got plenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't throw into into standing standing heavy kick. I don't know. I don't know what's up yeah. with that. Yeah. Ooh, good Sinister's patience. Reactions there. on these unsafe moves on his shield are so consistent. Yep, it is, you know, it is just imperative that Sinister plays this slow game because Bayo will eat you up in a more fast-paced match. And, ooh, yeah, that's... Yeah, especially since... Yep. Yeah, especially Beautiful. since Ryu is so heavy, and uh, he does, he is susceptible to combos quite a bit. And like you said, Focus does make comboing him so much harder, but the amount of multi-hits Bayo has, even, even if... The multi hit does break the focus. It's still good. It's still probably gonna break the combo. He's gonna be able to get out. So we're gonna see if Pescado has uh, has an answer to has an answer to this guy going into game two. I think yeah. we're gonna be seeing. Yeah, yeah. We're just going right back to small battlefield. Mm -hmm. And one thing I will say about Pescado to not completely discredit them, they're playing much cleaner than they were on uh, their first set against guys. Like it was probably just you know first set jitters, being on stream for your very first set, and like the very first set of stream, definitely gotta be you know kind of sh shaking you up. But Pescado's definitely been playing 
like a cleaner game now against Sinister than the one against Skies. So you know, having those couple sets un under their belt is definitely kind of. We're seeing it right now, actually, with these combos actually coming out very struggling. Yeah, but that's like a set with the 15th seed versus the 16th seed to a set versus the eighth with the eighth seed and the 16th seed. You know. Yeah. He's got him maybe playing a lot cleaner, but Sinister definitely has the result. We've seen Sinister do a lot of great things with Ryu, so Piscato definitely with an uphill, up, <laughs> uphill battle going for him, but then he throws up that up smash, gonna even up the game a little bit, so Piscato definitely still got some life in him. Yeah, like, uh, this is, I feel like this is already a much closer game than we were seeing in the first one, you know, Piscato's I'll tilt into the Shoryu. Shoryuken! Yeah, Ryu does not care what percent you're at. If you get hit by the up tilt, uh, heavy 